Trumpets Prepper, and welcome to the channel this morning, guys. It is a beautiful day the Most High Yah has made. Um, I apologize in advance to everyone that follows the channel consistent that I constantly make videos on the go. Um, I have found that between work and back is a prime time to commune with one another. Um, and with that said, uh, real quickly before I get into the video about Iran today, um, what I want to share on that because I have talked on this matter for so many years and it's about to come to fruition before our very eyes um, in the days ahead and years. I just want to say that um, for those that watched that video I made the other day about the five D's um, with dealing with relationships with women, um, link in the video description below, I think a lot of people got butthurt over that and um, you know, I, I can't say sorry because I, you know, it's not a secret MGTOW movement. Um, Luke is not secretly um, trying to push MGTOW agenda here. I, I've told people in the video to get married. That goes right against what MGTOW preaches. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry if, if, if I broke your heart by telling you the truth about people's nature. Um, I also told you to get married, like I said, but to get married to a Torah observant, good, decent, honest woman. All right, all of us got issues. Men's got issues. Women's got issues. I just, just telling you, dude. Um, you don't see <clears throat> there. There's a problem when 78 percent of the people going to file for divorce is women. It, there, there's probably something wrong on that side of the fence. Okay, people need to get their their self in check. So, um, you don't see men doing the, the kind of behavior to uh, to women. Okay, um, and if if so, on a very low level, but. Guys, if y'all got offended at that, they make an unsubscribe button for a reason. Best to you in life. Hope most high y'all bless you. But Luke ain't changed his mindset on how I feel about things. I'm not hurt. That's typical speech. People say, oh, you just hurt. No, I'm not hurt. Anyway, let's get into the... Um, I ain't hurt anymore. Like. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the subject matter today. Iran. Are we going to war with Iran? I say 100% we're going to war with Iran. I believe it with all my heart we're going to war with Iran. I believe we will be at war with Iran either just before the election or during election season, okay? Um, matter of fact, I, I, I don't know the statistics, but I think a lot of times right before election, there's always been some big conflict, something kick up, um, you know, and I don't know if that's to keep the powers that be in office or what, but anyway... <laughs> You know, I believe it's coming. Now, I don't believe it's just coming just because of everybody thinking uh, it's coming or um, a lot of the average Joes out here that, you know, and watch the political spectrum all the time and stuff. It's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's all turn to Second Ezra, chapter 16. It says, Woe well, to you, Babylon, Asia. Woe well, to you, Egypt, Damascus. Put on hair, cloth, sackcloth, but will you, sons and daughters, for your destruction is not at hand. If you will skip on down further, um, and you read, it says, um, this is the beginning of sorrows, okay? Now, I've read a lot of scripture. I'm telling you, I mean, from the Apocrypha, Maccabees, Baruch, um, Esdras, to 66 books of the Bible. Um, I've picked up the, uh, there's this great book. I can't remember the author, but it is a, cor uh, a copy of the corresponding Dead Sea Scrolls translations of what they found. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, there's pieces, fragments here and there are missing. But, I mean, like, I've read the Book of Hanak out of it. I've read the Book of Hanak translation. I've read the, uh, what is it, the, uh, tell you in a second, the Ethiopian uh, version, I, I believe. Uh, I think once or maybe twice. I, I've read, like I said, I've read a bunch. And that don't make me no extremely wise man in a lot of people's sight. People go, well, I've read a lot, too. I, I'm not trying to be a, a pastor, teacher, doctor over here to you. I'm just telling you resource material where I found this for myself, okay? I, I hope people understand that's how I'm always trying to come across to you guys, okay, from what I've seen myself. <laughs> All right, so in Second Esther's being that it says the beginning of sorrows, I look at that is that either this is possibly the beginning events leading right up to the beginning of the trumpets. That's, that's how I've always looked at it since Brother Joe pointed out to this out to me. I take no credit for this knowledge. Brother Joe was the first one to point it out to me at my fellowship. I'll praise most high y'all for that, and I give my elder uh, the um, credit for this knowledge, okay, being able to share this with others. All right. Well, elder Joe and me talked about it in the past, and um, if you look at the scripts, you've got Asia, which to me 
if you look at Persia, you look at um, that, that area, which is now should be modern day Iran, okay? Now, it, it, I think it's Isaiah 17, and do not quote me on this, all right? Just check this out for yourself, but Google Burden of Damascus, I believe is, is what, in the context. Anyway, it talks about Damascus being a ruinous heap, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah, and I believe it's in the 17th chapter. Forgive me, guys, I'm always on adventure time, but look this stuff up for yourself. Don't take Luke's word for it, okay? But um, if if Damascus is a ruinous heap, because, you know, we know like Aleppo and a lot of them places over there today, they're just, just a wasteland. But if you look at Damascus being a ruinous heap, and then Egypt, and then what is Babylon, modern-day Iraq, which has just been a cesspool ever since we went over there and got involved, shouldn't have got involved in other people's business with personal thought. But anyway, Scripture's going to play out. Uh, so these four nations, it looks like, are going to be wiped out. It's just a wasteland based on what I can get out of Scripture. Now, that's just my assessment. Now, I don't know if that was all at once. See, and the thing that gets me, though, is if you look at the Scripture, it doesn't really detail out as it all at once. Is this like one false swoop, or is this over time? Because if we look at it over time, you had like Egypt, the Arab Spring, um, you know, all that drama that went on. You had um, Iraq, multiple incursions. You've got um, Syria today that's a mess. Um, and all that's really left is Damascus for that to be, you know, hashed off because there's already been conflict there. And now Iran, which they're calling the mother of all wars. I think I shared that in one of those flat earth videos uh, recently talking about if I could go to Antarctica, how I would go about it. And, um, you know, right there I shared that, that um, news article where it said the mother of all wars. Uh, Iran said they would be the mother of all wars. I don't think it'd be the mother of all wars. I think it'd be stomped out in like two minutes. If you will honestly want to know, I, I, I mean, like, do not underestimate the military mind of the United States of America. Not because I just live in America. I'm telling you, like, if I lived in other countries, it is very obvious to me it is modern-day Rome, okay? I mean, like, if you want the centurions to come and burn your village down and hack your family to pieces, just call the USA. Guys, I, I mean, no disrespect to all our military veterans out there. Hey, my family is full of men who served this country, and... Um, you know, I mean, I've got a lot of friends, and the whole list goes on. But if we're all honest with ourselves, and I know some of y'all that got up out of the military and had this conversation with me, is it's just a machine. And, um, you know, it is used for the Illuminati and for all the George Soros of the world and all these other jokers out here um, that's got agendas. Um, you know, the... Uh, J.P. Morgans and the Rothschilds and all the other good homeboys out here. I mean, there has always been an agenda for globalization of the world, which they didn't get the memo apparently on their UN flag, but it's flat, even on their flag. But anyway, uh, there's been this agenda, and Iran is the ultimate prize at the moment. You know, the thing that gets me is, um, what is it? There be wars, rumors of war, and, um, you know, you see, and then all this false peace the scripture talks about, you know, like, do you think that there's going to be peace, peace, then comes sudden destruction? It's like, the other day, Donald J. Trump, when he stopped off in um, Berea and met with Kim Jong-il, Un or whatever, um, I thought about that. I was like, bro, I was like, I'm talking to myself at this point, right? I'm like, bro, when would you ever thought you would have seen the American flag draped next to the North Korean flag? I mean, when would you ever think you'd see that, right? And I'm like, this just cannot stand. I'm like, this ain't gonna last. You know, I'm just like, all this so-called peace going on right now, I'm like, just this just can't stand. It ain't gonna last. It's not a lasting peace. Um, and I just look for so much more conflict before it all just comes to the finish line. But, guys, I mean, <clears throat> I believe 100% war with Iran's coming. There's just no, there's no getting past it. Um, and based on what Scripture says, if you read Second Esther's chapter 16, um, you look at what Revelation talks about, um, you know, in the end days, just, just all the destruction, it looks to me that these events pre, are, are the pre-events to the trumpets. Now, that is an opinion. I ain't stating that, I, that I can find that anywhere in Scripture says, look, this is the beginning of sorrows, all this happened, then the trumpets right after that. 
I don't find it. But it wouldn't surprise me if the war started, uh, or you know, this all this events took place in the Middle East, and then uh, following that, a great worldwide earthquake, and then the beginning of the Seven Trumpets. It wouldn't surprise me if that was how it's doled out. Um, you know, my greatest concern is the last thing I'll say in this particular video is my greatest concern has always been since I started prepping and still is to this day, is that this country would fail economically, socially, or whatever before the trumpets started. I mean, when the trumpets started, it's a done deal. Everyone's going to break down. Society, uh, business, economics, religion, everything's just going to fall apart, it seems. Um, and all you're going to have left is whatever foundation that you really built for yourself in faith of the Most High Yah and, and, and prepping wise. And then people can mock, mock me for that or whatever. But when you all don't, I'll, uh, what is that song? I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. We sing it in SUN Day Church all the time. Well, when you ain't flew away and Trumpet One has kicked off, here you go. The other day I gave you a MGTOW video, uh, so called, is what some people wanted to point out. Um, but I told you to get married, right? And I told you this is just how things are. I'm not, I don't want it to be this way. This is just unfortunately how it is, right? Well, let me put it to you like this. Um, I don't want there to be wars and conflict and stuff like that. But this is just how it's going to be. This is not Luke's opinions. This is just how it is out there. And it sucks. Okay? And I'm sorry, guys, if you don't like it. I mean, truth is never popular. <laughs> I mean, you just, you know, the more days go by, the older I get, I can't help but laugh. I know it's, I, I think it's, it's not, it's not because it's funny because there's going to be death, destruction, and everything. I just laugh because it's like the fact that people reject the things I tell you. I don't know if it's because it's the Southern accent and it's because I'm a white guy on some issues. I don't know if it's because that, you know, I ain't wealthy. I don't know if it's because I don't wear a pasture suit and a tie. I don't know what it is, dude. But if you, you know, I'm just a normal guy living life out here, seeing it as I, calling it as I see it. And it's just killing people, man. I don't know, this past year making content, I have just seen the comments just go off the rails. Guys, I'm sorry, but truth hurts. And it is the truth. And war is coming. Um, that's definite. And um, if you haven't read Second Asterisk, pick up a copy of the Apocrypha. Go on Google this afternoon, or this morning, or this evening, or whatever time you're watching this YouTube video, and do your due diligence and research this for yourself to see if these things be so. And if they are, take peace and heart, knowing that you already know the foreshadowing of that which is to come. So guys, I am going to go and have an excellent day working on grid. And I hope you have a wonderful day out there, ladies and gentlemen. And until I see you again here on this channel, hope you have a most blessed day. Y'all wish you well.